different teams around the world are, are, are you working with? It? Oh dear. I'm scared. <laughs> should I, should I? Should I answer this Rachel. story? Yeah, right there. I've never had a, a doorbell before, so that was a surprise. <laughs> like the, uh, this door here? It's Soupy yeah, Sales. right there. By the way, it was <clears throat> the biggest night of my life when I got a shout out on this season of Rescue Me. You're shopping for the olive oil? Yes, yes, yes. I loved it! <laughs> are, these the, are these your questions? Yes, <laughs> these, are, these are, somebody gave me that. Those are the questions you're supposed to ask me. Did you write these yourself? No, I didn't actually. <laughs> Have you peaked? No, I, I actually, I was peeking when Mike was talking about. I am really um, depressed that it's over, that's true. It says, D referring to him. Rescue Me is one of my favorite shows. I'm so sad it's over. It is a bummer, because the writing is so great. So what's next? How uh, are you gonna top that? Here I am. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, uh, I've got, uh, God, I've got nothing to do right now. So, I'm, I'm fi I finished uh, Spider-Man, uh, the movie which comes out next summer, and, I, and Ice Age 4. That's gonna be that. So I'm pitching Ice Age five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, <laughs> and uh, and then I don't know. Is there uh, any any dirt? You know, I know you guys are real life friends, but I never had you together. Oh, is there true, is there yeah. a story you want to tell about him? <laughs> what kind of story? <laughs> An entertaining you know what? I'll one. Tell you so, I'll tell you something because he's he makes fun of the of the phone call to him about playing this guy in Rescue Me. I don't know if you saw this character, but um, he was so yeah. great. So uh, he was uh, he was created by myself and, and Peter Tolan and Evan Riley on Rescue Me, but he's a, he's a very complicated guy. It was a very dramatic role with comic um, undertones. Uh, yeah, undertones to it. It was primarily a dramatic role. So when we called Mike, we said we want you to play a guy who's in a wheelchair. Um, you know, he's got a horrible drinking problem. He had this horrible thing happen in his past. He's a very angry, bitter guy. First of all, he won the Emmy for that role. Okay. So, yeah. Which. You know, which still angers me yeah, to this day. But the thing is, <laughs> I don't have an Emmy. He's got six. Six? How many? Five. 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 <laughs> so. Enough to pepper around the house. But the truth was, the day, the first day that he worked, um, was a very straight, dramatic role in a bar. This conversation he has with my character was a really heavy scene. Mike goes into this big speech, which is really, it ends up being really angry, and it has a lot of really ugly things in it. And he did it. He actually, I was on the other side of the camera, and I was, I was scared, because he, <laughs> he threw a glass at one point, and he smashed the table, and the guys on the crew were literally afraid of him. They were like, they didn't know if that was the real Mike Fox. And of course, I'm going, yeah, that's him. That's the real guy. But <laughs> he's dark. I, I, I don't think people realize that, you know, he's really, Killing it. People forget, yeah. you know, how, how he's got this dramatic side to him. And it's you like, want to so say sorry, anything to embarrass him back? Well, no, I just I said he's, he, 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 I mean, it's so, it's such a travesty that that show, it kind of diminishes the Emmy institution, the fact that That's right, the, yeah. the, the rescue me never got any, any Emmys. Yeah, but you got one. Yeah. Yeah.